Hello, this is Dr. Kevin Kirk. I'm going to make a little uh, flying thing. A little, we'll call it a box bug. So I'll make a box bug today. That sounds good. I'm going to take the cube. I'm going to shrink it down. It's just very, very quick, kind of simple type of thing. I'm going to scale it down along the x-axis. So make it kind of a bug body shape. There, that's our bug's body shape. You can spend more time on it, of course. Please spend more time on it, of course. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go into edit mode. I'm going to go into the lines. I'm going to grab one of them. And I'm going to view straight on and extrude it out. That's fine. I'm going to grab the other, go straight on, and extrude it out. There we go. Roughly the same, which is fine. So now I've got these little wings on our box bug. <laughs> it's that simple, that quick. Building a little box bug here. Go back to object mode. I'm going to jump over here into the object data properties, which is a weird word for it. And I'm going to work with the shape keys. Now, shape keys can take an object and move parts of it and make it into a new shape. So that's what we're going to do. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do the first one called base. It's always called base for the first one. We do another one. This is going to be called down flap. Down flap. That's going to be flapping the wings downward. So while that's selected, I'm going to go to edit mode. I'm going to grab both of those and straight on and just G, boom, downward whew, for the downward flap. Beautiful. There we go. So I'll flap downward. How nice. Back to object mode. Now here's the cool part about this. With the down flap selected, we can bring up the value and have it literally start flapping its wings. Now I spent like no time making the body of the wings. You can spend as much time as you want on things. But that's the basics on how to make it fly. All right, well, how do you animate this? Well, I'm going to jump into the timeline here. I'm going to change it out into the graph editor. And I'm going to go ahead and set up a few keyframes with this first. So, go into edit mode. And actually, I don't even need to do that yet. Sorry. We'll keep it in object mode. Value is zero here. And I'll keyframe it. Boom. There, I set a keyframe. You can see the keyframe pop up. Come out a bit. About five, I guess. Five, six, something like that. And I'll bring it up to one. So it flaps down. Set a keyframe. Boom. Again, a keyframe appears. I'll bring it out about another five, six. I'll bring it up again to zero and set that keyframe. Beautiful. So what do I have here? Well, I've got this. Oh, come on. There it is. So I've got this here where it's flapping, just a single flap, which works pretty well. And if I play it back, it just flaps its wings, which is nice. Now let's see if I can keep that going. So while I'm here, I'm going to jump over to, I believe, the modifiers. I'll add one. I'm going to do a cycle. And cycle will just keep it repeating. So when I play, I've got this thing flying. It's that simple to make it fly. So now it's just flying forever, which is great. Out of the whole 250 default frames. I'll come back. And now I can make it move with the body. This is just for making it flap the wings, of course. So now I can move the body like normal, like any other object. Let's do that. I'm going to jump back into the timeline to do that. Back in timeline. And I could just move it like a normal thing. So, oh, I do want to set up the auto keying at this point. G, I'll start it over there, I think. Bring it out a ways. Maybe we'll fly over to there. Maybe go up a little bit. That's fine. Maybe come out a bit over here. Fly down a little bit. Uh, maybe over here. Come out a bit. Start to rotate a lot. RZ is a good way to do that. Starts to rotate this way. Uh, let's see. Come out a bit more. Maybe I wanted to go over down here. That's going way down. That's fine. 
R, Z to rotate more this way, so the box bug's gonna be flying that away. Beautiful. And come out a bit more. Box bug's gonna be flying back. There we go. And have box bug, box bug go up, flying a bit higher. R, Z a little more. Cool. I'm gonna bring this in back a little bit and let's see what our flight pattern is now. So box bug is just flying along. It looks pretty good. Let's see what we got here. It's kind of flying along, turning. Yeah. So there we go. Very, very simple, very, very quick way to make something fly. It turns a little ridiculous there, but you get the idea. And it's a super quick, super easy way to make uh, flying butterflies, flying uh, bees, flying whatever you want to do. So that's how you do it, flying birds, even. So there you go. It's a nice way to do it, and I hope you enjoy it. Have fun with it.